Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy King Phillip. Uh, yeah, it looked like I just woke up uh, because I did late evening stuff, night shift kind of guy. Uh, but anyway, I knew this trailer was finna drop. I just had that feeling, and especially after I heard the uh, rumor reports that it was about to drop uh, on the Everything Always channel, Daniel Fires, and his reporting about, <clears throat> I guess it's Daniel RBK. Or RPK or something like that and he's normally the scooper that has the info on the trailers dropping and all kind of other leaks and stuff like that but anyway it just felt like it was and I see I'm already three hours late to the party but shh, let's get it started bars yeah whatever anyway let's do it Finally, we get something that looks like it's going to actually be just off the charts. Dope. Real quick. Is it me or does the timekeeper guy remind you of the guy who kept all the keys in the Matrix? I don't know. It ain't because he's Asian, man. <laughs> it ain't because he's Asian, man. He just looked like that dude, man. And he, do so, and he got the same type role or whatever. I don't know what they trying to insinuate or if it's an insinuation or anything, but it just reminded me of that. But anyway, man, yeah, this look like it's gonna be good, and I hope they don't drop. I hope they don't drop no more trailers. Just leave it at that, unless there's something else they need us to know that ain't telling too much. But it's crazy, so I'm guessing both Loki's are in the state where they're both pruning the timeline and. Trying to figure out who to keep alive and who to die. Bars, maybe. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this look like it's gonna be dope, man. Uh, son, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Yeah. But, man, I can't wait to see this, man. I'm trying to think, what else I saw? I don't know, I'm about to go watch a trailer breakdown video, man, but, dog, this looks good. This will probably be the number one show like top 10 at all the shows or whatever because the way they bringing it and, and it's a trailer though, you know what I'm saying awesome music awesome cut scenes but I mean just from what it seemed like it's got going on in the storyline man 
it just seemed like whatever the hell is going on is going to be epic. And I'll say this, man. This, you know, quit, boy. It, it seems like, uh, you know, kind of got, kind of, I don't know. And, and it may be, uh, I know it ain't just me because everybody else been having problems with all these shows and some of the new movies and stuff. In, in the, in the, even in the new phase so far. Cause I think we are in the new phase with uh, Ant-Man. But I'll say this. It feel like, man, this has gotten me back on board with the multiverse saga stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm back in it to want to see how this is going to turn out. Because even though, I mean, uh, it, Secret Invasion didn't really hurt my feelings like it did everybody else. Because I, I just accepted it for what it was, even though, the you know, the season finale was kind of lackluster and all that stuff, man. I, I really enjoyed the acting and stuff like that. With that being said, I just kind of haven't really cared or seemingly felt like I haven't cared, man, for what's possibly to come. Like I was invested before Ant-Man dropped and all that, you know, the idea of Kang. And I think Loki got me ready for Kang in the multiverse saga. Hold on. But anyway, it felt like season one Loki got me ready for the multiverse saga. And then I kind of lost my way, you know what I'm saying, with all the other shows and movies. But now I'm back on board. I'm back on board. But, uh, come on, Noah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> if you saw what you thought, let me know in the comments. Peace.